Slimania, also called Suleimani or Slimani, is a city in Iraqi Kurdistan. Slimania is surrounded by the Asma Range, Goy Ija Range, and the Kaiwan Range in the northeast, Brannan Mountain in the south, and the Tasluja Hills in the west. The city has a semi arid climate with very hot dry summers and cool wet winters. Salamania served as the capital of the historic Kurdish Principality of Babin from 1784 to 1850. The modern city of Salamania was founded on November 14, 1784 by the Kurdish Prince Ibrahim Pasha Babin who named it after his father Suleiman Pasha. Because it was founded as the capital of a powerful Kurdish Principality. Slamania has developed into a large city with a population of more than 1,500,000 people. Citation needed, it is an important economic center for northern Iraq and has been named the cultural center for Sirene-speaking Kurds continuously since 1992. From its foundation Slamania was always a center of great poets, writers, historians, politicians scholars and singers, such as Nali, Mawi, Pyramid, Muhammad M. and Zeki Bey, Tafik Wabi, Sharkobikas, Nuri Sheikh Salah Sheikh Ghani Bartsanji, Bakti Rali, Mahmud Bartsanji, Malai, Maulana Khalid and Mustafa Zini Pasha. History The region of Slamania was known as Zamwa prior to the foundation of the modern city in 1784. The capital of the Kurdish Babin Principality, 1649-1850, before Slamania was a territory named Kalasawalan. At the time of the Babani's rule there were major conflicts between the Safavid dynasty and the Ottoman Empire. Kalasawalan became a battleground for the two rivals. Being of strategic importance and lying deep inside Safavid territory, there was concern that Kalasa Wallen would be attacked and captured if the Babanese did not give the Safavids military support, as both Sultan Mahmud II and Nader Shah were trying to gain the support of the dispersed Kurdish Emirates. This obliged Mahmud Pasha of Babin in 1781 to think about moving the center of its emirate to another safer place. He chose Melkendi then a village but now a district in central Slamania, to construct a number of seras for his political and armed units. In 1783, Ibrahim Pasha of Babin became ruler of the emirate and began the construction of a new city which would become the capital of the Babin emirate. In 1784 he finished erecting a number of palaces for trade called Kizaris and bazaars which were also used as baths, and began inviting people from the surrounding villages and emirates to move to the newly established city. Soon Melkendi, which was originally intended to be the city itself, instead became one of its quarters and still is today. Salamania has since its foundation been the center of Kurdish nationalism. And it was from here that Mahmud Bard Sanji sparked the first rebellion against the British occupation on May 22, 1919 with the arrest of British officials in Silmania. He attempted to declare an independent kingdom of Kurdistan on October 10, 1921, issuing a statement in Silmania, then the capital of Kurdistan, to establish the kingdom of Kurdistan. 6. Sheikh Mahmud Bart Sanji, now backed by the British, declared himself king of the Kingdom of Kurdistan. The British occupation declared Sheikh Mahmud king in order to persuade the residents of Slamaniyu to stop their rebellion, but Sheikh Mahmud ruled independently from the British and wanted them out of the kingdom. As a result, in the same year he was exiled for several of years to the Andaman Islands in India by the British only to return and raise another unsuccessful rebellion in 1923, centered in Sulmania.
In January 1926 the League of Nations gave the mandate over the territory to Iraq, with the provision for special rights for Kurds. In 1930-1931, Sheikh Mahmud Bard Sanji made his last unsuccessful attempt to free Kurdistan. He retreated into the mountains and later signed a peace accord with the Iraqi government and settled in the new Iraq in 1932. The first and mildest neighborhood in the city is called Goiza, Kurdish, Goyaija, which was named after the mountain overlooking the city. Sabankar and was of the city's first neighborhoods, its name means those who make soap in Kurdish and its residents were mainly involved in the soap industry. Kulikn, the Jewish neighborhood, was mainly inhabited by Kurdish Jews. In the 1950s, after the establishment of the State of Israel, most of its inhabitants migrated to the newly created state. On April 23, 1982, during the Iran-Iraq War, a demonstration broke out in the city against the arrests and torture of the city's youths who were accused of planning a revolt against the ruling Arab Ba'ath regime. Following the Gulf War, a series of nationwide uprisings broke out across Iraq against the Ba'athist rule, including the 1991 uprising in Salmaniya, led by the Kurdish separatist parties KDP and Buk. Since its successful liberation in 1991, Salmaniya has been administered by the Kurdish government, KRG, and serves as a principal metropolis of northern Iraq. 2011 Salmaniya protests In February 2011 multiple demonstrations took place in Salmaniya against corruption and lack of services. The protest escalated and lasted for more than 40 days causing clashes between security forces and demonstrators until an eventual crackdown on the demonstrators left 10 dead and several hundred wounded. Demographics In 1820, only 26 years after the creation of the city, a British man named Reck visited the city and estimated that its population was more than 10,000 containing 2,144 families of which 2,000 were Muslim, 130 Jewish, and 14 Christian. Ottoman documents from 1907 suggest that there were 8,702 Muslim and 360 non-Muslim residents living in the city at that time. The Peshkan newspaper which was distributed in Salmaniya in 1920 estimated its population to be around 10,000. According to Iraqi government documents, by 1947 the number of residents had increased to 23,475, by 1998 to 548,747, and in 2009 to 2 million. The Assyrian community in the city is relatively new and has been small, there are several Assyrian churches in the city.